guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke, otherwise known as Cool Hand Wiz, and today we are doing another Luke's Lounge. First off, I want to say a big thank you yet again to you guys for all the awesome support you guys have been giving this series so far. We're now in the, I think this is the third video in this series, and I really wasn't sure what to expect because um, this is very different from my other videos on the channel, and it's just been so warmly accepted, and you guys have been so supportive of the channels I'm giving shoutouts to, and it really does mean a lot to me because I've wanted to do this series for such a long time and I was waiting till the point where I felt like the channel and the community had grown to a certain point where it could make some impact on these channels. And you guys really do care about these YouTubers that I'm giving shoutouts to, to, to check out their channels, which just mean, means the world and it's the whole point of this series. Uh, I actually spent a long time trying to decide which YouTubers I'm giving shoutouts to. You guys have been so um, helpful in terms of giving me feedback, in terms of which YouTubers you feel could do with an extra push, or maybe you have on your own YouTube channel channel that you possibly would be interested in getting a shout out in part of this series and I really do spend a long time working on trying to decide which YouTubers I feel that I'm going to give shout outs to in a video. For instance this one I spent an hour and a half trying to decide um, and it's just been great because um, the reason why it's taking so long is because there's so many great YouTubers out there and I want to make sure that the, the people that I give shout outs to are um, uploading consistently, upload great content and are very active and supportive of not only their own subscribers that are watching their videos, but also other YouTubers in general. So if you guys could help spread the word about this series, that would mean the world to me. I really want to use this series as a way to spread the love and support to other YouTubers. Um, if you can give this video a big thumbs up and share on various social media, you guys have been so awesome with that in the past, and I hope to continue that in the future. Uh, and without further ado, let's get to the questions. So I've said this in past Loose Lounge videos, but if you ever have a question that you would like to ask me as part of this series, you can tweet me your questions using the hashtag AskCoolHand, or you can also um, post them on YouTube in the comments, or on Facebook, or Google+. I'm not even sure how many of you guys actually use either Facebook or Google+, Plus, but I actually have both of them. So if you guys ever have a question, I'm always keeping an eye on those. Uh, but the first question is from Dysis, and he asks, Are your hands cold right, or cool right now? Or just room temperature? Hot, perhaps? Um, here. Let me feel, feel my hand. Here you go. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, uh, my hands are cool because I'm cool hand whiz, of course. Um, and I'm also sitting right in front of an AC, so like the cold air is coming in. So I'd say cold, cool, cool, cold. I don't even know. What am I trying to say? <laughs> and then Alana asks, If you had to live the same day for the rest of your life, what day would you live? It can be from your lifetime or not. Also, ooh, a two-part question. Also, whose point of view would it be from? Hmm, that's a really tough question. Uh, well, first off, actually, I want to say thank you to you, Alana, for sending in the artwork that I added to the wall. I really do appreciate you taking the time to do something like that. That really does... It's just crazy that people actually actually thought, think of the, the time and actually have the time to actually make something for me. If you guys ever have any artwork that you would like to send me to at, be added to the wall uh, for this series, uh, you can tweet it to me or e also email to me in the uh, the emails in the description. You can email to that email. Yeah. How many times did I say email in that sentence? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but to answer your question, I would say that... Okay, this is going to be a little weird, but I would say uh, being um, at... Okay, so I like the 80s music scene, so I would say being at Motown 25 to see Michael Jackson do the moonwalk. Um, and just kind of experiencing not just that performance, but also all the other performers that performed that night. I I've seen it on television, and it's just been... Um, just been crazy to actually picture being there at during that moment that's such a big moment in that decade in terms of pop culture and music um so i would definitely say that even that's just something that comes to mind um it's that's a really hard question though um and obviously living the same day for the rest of your life <laughs> that's a really big decision but um hopefully that answers your question and then anastasis asks 
Hmm, a cue for you. If you were in an MMORPG, I don't even know if I said that right, but what character would you like to be? Knight, Magician, Dwarf, or Archer? Question mark, question mark. P.S. Love your videos. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, and I would, to answer your question, I mentioned this in a small YouTubers tag, but I'm a huge fan of role-playing games. I just don't really have the time to play them anymore. Uh, but I would 100% say Magician, for sure. I actually, that's the reason why I have Wiz in my name, is because I used to play as the wizard when I played uh, role-playing games. Uh, that I always thought the magic using or wielding characters were the coolest, so that's almost 100% of the time. I never really played as like the fighters or the other, I guess, characters that were options. And then ZNNDBZ asks, Have you ever watched anime, and if you have, which ones? That's all I think. Yeah, I've definitely watched anime. I really haven't... I kind of feel like an anime noob because I really don't know that much about other anime shows besides like the five or so that I have watched. I watched like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Bleach, a show called Yu Yu Hakusho, Death Note, Attack on Titan, and that's basically it because I have tried finding other shows to check out and they, I just know, they didn't, I, it's hard to keep up with them and uh, they didn't really, I don't know, draw my attention. So if you guys ever have any recommendations or suggestions, let me know in the comments. I know quite a few of you actually like watching anime, so let me know. Croy Plays asks, if you could be a Minecraft mob, which one would you be? Parentheses, if you know what a mob is. Of course I know what a mob is. Okay, if I was going to be like a neutral mob, I would say definitely like a sheep. Uh, just because they're really derpy. And, or a pig that they're really derpy too. Um, and then for an actual hostile mob, I would probably say the Endermen. Because they're always so mysterious. You don't really know what they're thinking. And they're, they, I think being able to teleport and move all around would be kind of cool. That's all the questions I'm going to answer for this video. If you ever have any questions that you would like to ask me for the next Luke's Lounge video or future Luke's Lounge videos, be sure to tweet them to me using the hashtag AskCoolHand. And without further ado, let's get to the shoutouts of the video. So the first person I want to give a shout out to is a guy named Happy Lion, otherwise known as Marcus. And actually, he's from Austria and uploads games or videos on games such as Penumbra, Ark, Happy Wheels, and even Half-Life. And don't hate on me guys, but I've never played Half-Life before. Um, so it's kind of interesting watching him play that and kind of experiencing uh, what the, all the hype is about, I suppose. Uh, but really what stands out to me in relation to his channel and his videos in particular is the amount of editing that he, he and care he takes in relation to his videos. I can tell just by watching them and that he really spends a lot of time and effort on them and I really do believe that he deserves this shout out. He's around the 200 subscriber mark, 215 I think is more exactly where he is at right now and I really do think that he could do with this push and this shout out so be sure to check him out. Then the second person I want to give a shout out to is uh, actually two people and their channel name is called FIFO Fail and they're Fee and Flynn are the people that run the channel and they do videos on games such as Minecraft, Call of Duty, Last of Us, retro games such as Sonic and Nintendo games and even Flash games which I think is really cool because there's tons of variety in between those different genres of games and not a lot of YouTubers really do uh, Flash games but really what makes their channel stand out at least to me is their kind of personable tone when they're recording videos their activity in relation to the responding to comments as well as kind of having like a conversation while they're filming their videos which makes it kind of have a more relaxed setting in terms of entertaining setting, at least for me, in relation to the videos that they post on their channel. They're actually around the 500 subscriber mark, so if you guys want to take a look, I really do recommend it. And then finally, the third person I want to give a shout out to is a guy named Kugo the Mighty, otherwise known as Nick, and he uploads games such um, as Amnesia, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, indie games, and even Sims 4. He actually does a lot of tags and challenge and just vlog type videos, which I think is really nice because a lot of gaming channels don't kind of are focused on just doing the games and don't really have that kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction with the people that are watching their videos. And I kind of feel like it puts more of the focus on the actual YouTuber that is doing the videos and it kind of allows um, the, the viewers to kind of get to know the person that they're following and they're watching. 
Uh, and he actually is very active on Twitch, actually. He um, actually has quite a large following on there. Uh, and um, actually, I was on uh, watching one of his streams just the other day and is always kind of interacting with the people that are watching him, which I think is really, really important. Um, and it really gives um, a YouTube channel a sense of community. So those are the three people that I want to give shoutouts to. If you guys ever have any channels that you guys feel could use with an extra push as part of this series, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for suggestions. If you can be sure to also leave a big like and support to this series, that would mean the world to me. Be sure to check out their channels. I'll leave their links in the description as well as in the comments below. And if you guys ever have any questions, you can always tweet them to me using the hashtag AskCoolHand. And apart from that, I will see you guys next time. Adios.